really good as we head into the weekend and beyond. Very pleasant next week, too, for the first part of the week. Now, we've been covering the tropics not because we have any threats. We have no threats here. And we don't even have a named storm. We just have a tropical depression. But we do also have that Invest 91L that we've been talking about. And you can see a pretty decent amount of showers and storms here with some high cloud tops showing up in the grays and blacks. And this is very close to land, though, in South America. So we will see whether it develops anytime soon. It does have a high chance of developing in five days but in the next two days, just a medium chance. So again, we'll see, but it's getting close to the Caribbean Sea, close to the Windward Islands, and moving along the coast of Venezuela with some rain and some gusty winds. Our computer models, of course, this isn't a developed system, so this may change a bit, but the general idea has been pretty consistent with them going westward into Central America, perhaps around Nicaragua or Honduras, and we will see how strong it gets. Right now, hard to say, models are kind of split, whether it develops or whether it develops and strengthens. Uh, so we will see. But the next week's steering pattern includes that big high, which will block it from moving to the north. Tropical Depression 12, very quickly, is not at all a symmetric or healthy looking system. It is very sheared right now with upper level winds, just giving it that really lopsided look. This one may last another day or two as a depression. It's not even forecast to gain enough wind speed to make it to a tropical storm. So the next name is Julia, but Tropical Depression 12 may not reach that. It looks like at least in the official forecast and looking so unhealthy uh, today. The next name would be Carl, Lisa and Martin. So we will see how many more of these names we have to go through. But at this point, no tropical threats for us for the next week or longer. Our seven day forecast shows that very pleasant setup for this weekend, low humidity. The thing is, as I said, no rain, almost zero rain chances all through the seven days coming up. By Tuesday, we'll start to increase temperatures just a little overall looking great through the next seven days.